Hey guys, it's John from that DIY couple. We're gonna show you how we took our kitchen from this to this. We are about to renovate our kitchen. And this is our kitchen as it currently stands. As we might have mentioned on a previous video, we bought this home as a foreclosure. Um, so it hadn't been occupied for a long time. It wasn't like move-in ready. Um, although we moved in and it was ready for us because we've been living here for the last uh, year and a half. But we've decided that it's time to renovate this kitchen. And uh, we've done a few things already just to make it actually livable, like we replaced this stove because our previous stove was totally broken, and we replaced this um, refrigerator here, and we also replaced this dishwasher, uh, but we never actually connected it, which is a, a great uh, great use. So it's just been here, kind of uh, with all the, uh, you know. So, what the current problems are in this kitchen are that uh, most of these cabinets are just like totally broken. This is a great example here. What they did is they, this is one cabinet. This is part of this cabinet structure and they cut it off, that part off and then made room for a dishwasher but then there's nothing to support. They just, just doesn't work. Just broken. This uh, countertop is uh, seen better days. Parts of it are not, I would call countertop material. Um, this is all really sticky and weird and gross. Someone decided to, um, I'm not sure, maybe pour scalding oil on this floor or do like a little indoor fire pit or, I'm not really sure, but that's very unsightly. Um, the walls are kind of messed up. We have little weird, weird features here, um, that, uh. You know, it might have made sense in a certain aesthetic, but don't really fit our aesthetic. Um, don't really like the ceiling. It's kind of these weird, uh, likely asbestos containing tiles. Um, so everything's just kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it not weird because uh, we prefer it to be a different way. Hey guys, so my vision for this kitchen is to have a really open concept kitchen that focuses on health and wellness and really sort of showcases, but also encourages us to continue with our healthy lifestyle. I really want this kitchen to feel like kind of a sanctuary and a place where we really like value the food that we're putting into our bodies and that will carry us through for many years. And so the things that I'd really like to do with this kitchen are to basically do like a much more open concept than we currently have. Um, I want to actually get rid of these upper cabinets and instead put in shelves so that we can display like mason jars and fruits and maybe even a little bit of fun art and things that could do like a pop of color. Um, I want to get rid of this weird bulkhead and have it just be flat all the way across the back. And then I really want the visual focal point in this kitchen to be a set of what's called azulejos, which is a Portuguese slash Spanish type of tile. It's typically blue and white, and it's in a geometric and repetitive pattern. I've been totally obsessed with this type of tile since I was 17 and lived in Spain for a year. And I'd always promised myself that I would have it in my home when I was an adult. So the day has come, and I'm very, very excited to incorporate it in our design of this kitchen. Another thing that I'm toying with, and we're gonna make a final decision about this later, is the possibility of actually also eliminating the lower cabinets. Now, it's pretty common these days to have like no upper cabinets anymore with shelving and a backsplash, but typically people maintain the lower cabinets. Since we do so much cooking, I'm almost in inclined to have the tile go all the way down and then continue the open concept with an open lower cabinet where we can still store like pots and pans and things like that. But I feel like when there's a closed space, I'm less incentivized to keep it nice and clean. And when there's an open space like my pantry that I've made over here, I really like to keep it nice and organized and it's very aesthetically pleasing, but also helps me go through the things that I need so that I'm using um, more of what I have and buying less and staying sort of 
frugal and environmentally responsible by not letting things go to waste. So toying with the idea of putting a more open um, cabinet slash like storage structure down here. We're gonna keep the um, we're gonna keep the this here. We're not gonna add a vent because we don't do a ton of cooking of meat and so um, it doesn't really, we don't get much smoke or, or anything like that. In fact, we, we actually rarely use this now because we're eating mostly raw vegan at this point. Um, so that's this side. Um, on this side, I'm definitely going to keep the lower cabinets so that we can, we're going to change out this sink with like a, a white sink, um, like it's bigger. And I want to fix the plumbing that John talked about here. Um, and I really would like to hook up our dishwasher. This is pretty typical, like just a ton of mason jars in our sink because we don't have a dishwasher and so I wait to do them on the weekends and I just really hate doing dishes and I hate when they pile up. I just don't like to have a lot of clutter around the house. So I'm really looking forward to having a functioning dishwasher that we can load and run regularly. Over here, I think I wanna keep a cabinet because I like having my plates and stuff like that in this and um, we're gonna figure out what to do with a black backsplash on this side. One last thing I wanna do is that I love, love, love this um, pantry. And I'm gonna keep it here, but I would like to add like an interesting backsplash of a similar type of tile in the back. And I think I'd actually like to add a lighting fixture up here. Um, finally, if I could add lighting fixtures above over here so that it might be possible to even grow like some wheatgrass or you know, chia seeds or some sort of like plants. We could incorporate my love of plants and gardening into this kitchen. I would absolutely love that. It would be also great to fix this lighting fixture because it feels very industrial and it makes me sad. This lighting does not make me happy. The last like big ticket wish list item, which we'll see if we can fit this in the budget, is that I'd like to um, replace this refrigerator with a um, clear glass refrigerator of almost like the industrial type that you see at like delis and stuff like that so that when we come into our kitchen we can actually see the food that we have in the refrigerator. Um, I love the, I love keeping my fridge, fridge like fairly organized and full of really good healthy food and I think that it would be even more motivating to do that if it were kind of on display in the kitchen. And I think that um, having your space that you live in and the food that you eat be aesthetically pleasing is really helpful to reinforcing good habits, but also just making you feel really comfortable and happy in your own home. So that's our plan for this kitchen. So I'm thinking like this is the wall, the back of the kitchen. And so in the middle here, we'll have our little stove and then all the way to the top, I want and the all the way to the floor, I want to have like our sort of like you know pretty repeating pattern Spanish slash Portuguese type tile, and then what I'm thinking we do, babe, is that we create like our own our own shelving, so we figure out how to build shelf here which has like a bottom shelf like that so this is like a bottom shelf where we could like have some hooks or something and we can have our pots and our pans hanging down what is the surface of it i'm thinking wood wood yeah if it's possible and then maybe this could be like what type of wood I don't know, I think we need to do some research, but I'm thinking that we could do like, so that this is kind of like, almost like a butcher block at least on the top. And so... I don't think, I don't know if we have the skill to do that type of work at this point. I think we can figure it out. And then, you know, we could have like, you know, like something I think we like, need some tools we don't have. Yeah. When I mean, you're gonna need like a... Maybe like a planer, like a table saw. Like. I think we can either rent those or borrow them from El Chapo or find someone who will lend it to us. But here we could have stuff like, you know, like rice or like, we could have like you know, potatoes or something like that. You know, like things that are like being stored from our You garden. want it to be attached to the wall in any way? No, I'm thinking. A literal like, table. Like a literal table. like, mm -hmm. And then have another one. So here's the stove, right? So here's the 
still. So I think we have another one like here. So this, this is the back, right? So this again, like we have, you know, whatever we have, like here maybe we have like our cookie sheets or maybe we have like a garbage can here or something like that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we put in it, but the basic idea is like on both sides, it's as though we had a countertop, but it's literally like a, like a table instead. So the azulejos, the tile, goes like from the top all the way down to the back. And then here above, we have open shelving. That is attached to the wall. That is attached to the wall on top of the azulejos. I think we put the azulejos on after we install the shelving. Okay. Probably. Well, maybe, I don't know. I've seen, I've well, seen ways to do it yeah. on top. I think it looks We just good have to drill top. through ceramic. Yeah, exactly. We have to get the diamond or whatever tip. And so up here, you know, we're stacking like probably like a ton of mason jars, right? And like we have basically like open storage with like our grains and our food and like, I think we probably just have, like, a bunch of, like, empty mason jars at any one time. This is probably not exactly to scale, but... Well, I think this whole thing is going to be... If this is your scale, then the this ceiling... This is going to be, like, really the small. The ceiling is, like, right here. Right. Truly, so it's, like, you know... Yeah. But you get the basic thing. So we are, like, 95% done with our kitchen renovation. We're done enough where we're using it, and we really don't need to do a lot more to say it's finished. And I'll show you everything that we did. The most major thing that we did is we totally replaced this wall with, uh, if you remember previously, it had cabinets and upper cabinets, lower cabinets. We took all those out. We re-drywalled this wall. And we put in these awesome Azulejo tiles. We actually found these from Home Depot, if you can believe it or not. I think the whole wall costs us about $700 in materials and we ran them from the ceiling to the floor. The idea was to create kind of like an accent wall that when you walk into the kitchen, you're sort of like, oh my gosh, like that's super cool. Uh, and I think it really turned out super, super great. We did a lot of electrical work too. That was probably kind of the main thing that we did in this kitchen besides just aesthetics. So we put in these new lights here as a way to sort of um, shine light and focus on the cool concept that we have going here. We put in a light here over the pantry and then we replaced this overhead light with the new light fixture and we replaced that light above the sink with the new light fixture. Uh, coming back over here, obviously we no longer have upper cabinets. We have these crate and barrel uh, open concept shelves. Um, these are each $200 each uh, on sale so we have two of them, it's $400 in total. And instead of having lower cabinets or base cabinets, we've replaced them with this uh, commercial kitchen style um, prep table almost. So these are just floating, they're not connected to the wall anyway. I think these are about $100 each, um, this one and that one. So $200 for both of these. This is the stove that we were using in our previous kitchen. I think we bought this for maybe $500 from the Sears outlet. Um, and it's sort of the culmination of the vision that Shannon described open concept you can see all of our cooking implements our mason jars um, our plates our cups um, all the stuff that we usually use to cook with is all right here i think it turned out really 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 awesome this used to be our pantry and still is our pantry it used to be kind of framed out like a door but what we did is opened it up we created these shelves uh, out of some pine and we have the same components in our cabinet, in our pantry that we had before, but now it's a lot more open. We put in this light so we can kind of display it, and um, I think it looks really cool. This is actually a wedding gift that we got um, from Shannon's mom. It's from a local artist in California, and we're probably going to spruce up a few more things before we finally call it done. Um, we have to fix some electrical coverings and put in some, some molding. Um, the sort of big ticket item of this kitchen is this. This is a commercial refrigerator, and the reason that we got it is that we really wanted to get an open glass refrigerator so that you can see inside the refrigerator. Uh, again, the concept is sort of 
if something looks really aesthetically cool and nice, it will inspire you to use it more and keep it more clean. So in terms of like practicality, um, it probably is great to have like a freezer in your refrigerator and have shelving that's on the door and things like that. But in terms of for what we do, what we, we use it for and kind of our lives, this is super awesome. And you can see we have a lot of food in it already uh, from Shannon's food prep salads and sauerkraut and fruit and all sorts of stuff. This refrigerator costs about $2,000. So this refrigerator alone is more expensive than all the materials combined that we use to put in on this side of the kitchen. Um, this is the sort of only traditional part of the kitchen. And um, it's the same layout as our previous kitchen. What we did is we replaced the cabinets. This is a new cabinet, that's a new cabinet. We got these both from Home Depot actually for I think like $150 each and we painted them white. We were thinking that we might paint them a different color but we don't really just painted them white. And this is a quartz countertop. Uh, I think this is about um, maybe like $700 or something. Quartz is really expensive and it's unfortunately or whatever you want to say we have only this part of the kitchen um, has a countertop and it's very hard to order countertop materials like granite or quartz in this only this dimension. So we found this, it's like a Ronin piece. We found it at a granite yard and had them cut it. Uh, the sink, we bought this Wadex faucet from Home Depot that we really like. I think this is a few hundred dollars. And then the actual um, sink itself was included with our uh, countertop order. And it's a nice deep uh, metal sink. The, very temporarily we have this microwave here. It's more just for practicality purposes. I think we're going to ultimately move this uh, somewhere else just so we have some more space. But um, if you remember formerly we had this on top of the refrigerator, but I don't think we're going to do that anymore. And we finally have a functional dishwasher. It's unbelievable. It's been maybe six years since we actually had a dishwasher in our house that, used, that, that we could use. And we've been so confused the past few weeks because we've had dishes in the sink and we've been like, what? Like, oh, we have to clean them. And then it's like, oh my gosh, we have a dishwasher. We just put them in the dishwasher. So it's been a minor miracle in our lives to have a dishwasher. Um, this upper cabinet we're just kind of temporarily using for random stuff, but we're probably gonna organize it a little bit better, find a better place to put our flatware. And before I forget, the most important aspect of this kitchen is of course the mullet bar. Um, so as you can see, the mullet bar, business in the front, which is, is literally written right here, and party in the back. So this is a literal, this is our, our bar area. We actually don't really drink very much alcohol, so we probably acquired this alcohol over like a decade, but all the alcohol that we've acquired over the decade is still right here, and um, it is our party in the front, party in the back, business in the front, wallet bar. We also have our, our tea here, um, we have our nice tea kettle. So all in all, um, you know, we, we managed to do this renovation to fulfill a lot of the, the dreams that we had about our ideal kitchen and we did it pretty cheaply. So, you know, the materials, I think the final tally is about 700 bucks for this, 400 bucks for these shelves, 200 bucks for this, 500 bucks for this. Um, I think the wood was maybe like 20 bucks in total for this, $2,000 for this, and probably the cabinets and the countertop and the faucet combined about $1,000 in materials for this, and then obviously the labor cost of doing it. Um, it took about maybe a month to do everything because we were only doing it on the weekends, and um, we got some day laborers to help us do it, so we were able to save a lot of money through that because we were able to pretty closely um, monitor them and tell them what to do because we've done a lot of renovations in the past and we sort of know the processes that are required to do a renovation. So um, we have a little bit more to do to finish it up, but for us it's like 95% done. We're super, super, super happy. And we've already had, uh, we had a party over the weekend for our birthdays. We had people over and people seem to love it. We cooked a lot of stuff. So couldn't be happier. Um, probably it for the projects for our house for this year, but we have a lot of projects down the road for some of our investment properties. And we'll keep you updated on that. If you liked our kitchen, didn't like our kitchen, just renovated your own kitchen, thinking about renovating your own kitchen, let us know, drop a comment. We'd love to talk about it. We can share 
kind of the resources that we use to build this kitchen if you want to do something similar to us. And we'll see you next time.